Buongiorno. We are on our way to Ostica Antica, which is kind of similar to Pompeii. Um, a lot of people suggest that if you can't make it out to Pompeii, then you should definitely check out Ostica. So it's about 20 miles from Rome. We just figured out the subway system on how to get here, and we're just going to wait for the train. We've made it to Ostia Antica and just paid our admission fee here and we are about to check it all out. Um, this is the entrance, but it seems to go on forever, so. So this was um, a little port city where people, merchants used to come and sell their uh, goods that would travel back up to Rome. Um, so it would be set up as kind of like a, what we know today is maybe a, an expo center or a, what word am I? No, it was a market. It's a market. Yeah. It's a market. There you go. We're visiting through these tombs of Ostia right at the entrance. This was a casket. And these families would have individual tombs for the dead. These ones were the larger ones. And we'll go back and make our way towards some of the smaller ones and walk right through here's a nameplate for the family who we'll use that and you can come over here and go inside and when you come in you can see all these spots for the cremated remains and the urns all the way around. of Neptune. You can still see all the mosaic tiles on here where it was um, just kind of depicts the sea and what people thought of. You can see Neptune riding his horse. So this whole area was just a big 
breath. Can't walk on it because it's gated off, probably for the best. I just wandered across another section of mosaic tile. So one of the one things that I find the most fascinating is when I come across like old floors or mosaic tiles and just to think that like who laid this floor and how long has it been here? How did they cut the shapes? Where did the stone come from? Um, so it's still cool to see, just to see it. really see in there but I'm tempted to go in Okay, what was this? So I just came in through this little opening. Again, not get it off. But it's some kind of room. And I don't know what the piping or the clay piping was. You can see that there was something inscribed maybe on this right here. Hello? Polo? Marco? Marco? I'm under the hut. Here's a part that's um, 
think used to be blocked off, but it's not right now. So we came in and there's still like plaster up on the walls with pictures. So Julie, how excited are you? This is awesome. This is <laughs> awesome. And here on the walls. So as you can see, like this area is completely overgrown. I think it's supposed to be blocked off, but somebody else took down the barrier. And you can see we're not the first people who have walked through here because there is a little path through yeah. here. So. so we're in an apartment section now. Yeah. And they said this was three or four stories tall. We've been here about two hours so far, and we haven't even made it to the front gate yet. We just keep exploring, so I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty long video. 